What's up, people? Hope everybody is in good spirits and is doing well. My name is Ariel. If you do not already know, I do fashion vlogs, unboxings, reviews, the list goes on. So if you're new to the channel, I need you to hit that subscribe button so you can join us on our list of many adventures that we go on. Um, and if you've already been part of the click, welcome back, guys. Um, so, yeah, we're still stuck in quarantine. And... I'm, I've been getting cabin fever and it is boring, but I've been finding multiple things to do and just to kind of keep my mind busy and stay positive, stay focused. So I figured I'd do a quarantine vlog, just kind of showing you guys what I do in my day. Um, so yeah, we're going to hop into that today. And also, it's, did I say today? No, I didn't say today. It's April 1st, so start of a new month. So that means also... I'm gonna do a new giveaway. So let's check that out right now. Right, so I'm gonna be giving away this Saint Laurent LO1 biker jacket. So what I'm gonna need you guys to do is, psych I'm not giving that away, it's April 1st, April Fool's Day. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to get your spirits up, but your boy ain't giving this away. All right, so we're gonna hop into the vlog. Um, probably start with breakfast real quick, cook up my smoothie. Chef up my smoothie real quick, show you guys what I've been eating for breakfast. I'm going to take Oreo for a walk. And then, yeah, we'll continue with the day and just kind of show you what I've been doing. Check it out. Guys, so I'm going to show you what I've been making for breakfast. I've been making this, like, healthier smoothie that consists of peanut butter, chocolate, and Greek yogurt. So I kind of get, like, that sweet taste. I put a little bit of honey. But it's all pretty much healthy, so I'm going to show you guys how I've been cooking it up, and I'll show you what it looks like after. for like the last two weeks but I haven't been getting tired of it so maybe try it at home bottoms up every day I've been taking some of these I take this B12 it's chewable and I also take this C500 milligram just to you know keep myself a little extra healthy so I'm gonna take some of those have breakfast and then I'm gonna take over for a walk guys right, so I figured since um there's not much else to do other than be inside since I have a little bit of extra time right now. Amber has been begging me to do some extra distressing on her jeans that I did for her on her vintage Levi's jeans. So I figured I'd come outside to the yard and just kind of uh, show you guys some of the things that I do in my spare time. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump into that. 
And um, yeah, maybe you guys, while you're home, will use some of your time to do DIYs on some jeans or on anything else. I'll show you like all the tips and tricks that I use to kind of like professionally distress jeans. And um, yes, yeah, so let's jump into that now. All right, so I'm gonna be working on this pair of vintage Levi's jeans from, I think these are from like the 80s. Picked these up for Amber a while back and I did these really nice clean distressings all over the jeans. Really nice rips and small details all over. So I'll show you guys a little bit of how I do that and what little tools I use. But today I'm going to do a raw edge on the ends of the leg openings just because she wants them to kind of be cohesive with the whole jean and since they're cropped she thinks that they would look a little bit better with a raw edge at the bottom that's what they look like currently and like the wash is perfect on these and I got these from a thrift store for like I think like five dollars let's open them up so all the like small detailings that they already had like I didn't do any of this this is natural over time that that happens in the fades and everything the only thing I did was the actual rips, which I think they look crazy. I think they look really good, how they came out. All right, so let me hop into what I use. So for basic tools, a really good pair of scissors is good to have, a nice sharp pair. I like this pair a lot. It's from, I don't know what brand this is. Oh, there it is, from Westcott. It's really, really sharp and good for cutting um, even cuts in jeans and pretty much anything if you want to do DIYs. So I really like these scissors. The next tool I use is a seam ripper. So I'll open this up for you guys. This is a seam ripper. I don't know if anybody has ever seen this before, but basically this is to make the small cuts in the jeans. If you want to just cut something, this is usually to, like if you have clothes that have strings or anything, you want to kind of like fine tune them. You can cut the strings off with this, but I use it to also make cuts in jeans and tons of other things. So that's the second thing I'm gonna be using. And then my super trick is this key that I have. It's actually my house key, but the teeth in the key are like perfect for after I get the, let me show you. So pretty much after I start cutting this and when it's already like raw edge then i use this like super sharp key to kind of pull out the thread so it gives it that authentic raw edge feel so i'll show you guys as i go along so let me start up now so so far i've cut in distress slightly little bits i'm just kind of making the marks where i want to you know you use the scissors to kind of cut the first part before distressing just so you know what it is that you want to distress and then you keep going like I've started pulling at the phrase here to kind of give it that old you know authentic look um, but yeah this is nowhere near done this is just the beginning steps I'm gonna keep showing you guys a little b-roll of the process but this is kind of the the starting root, my cuts, and then I'm gonna start fraying. So it won't look like this at the end. It's just, this is kind of just the beginning steps. So keep watching. All right guys, so the next step I'm gonna do is continue to um, distress and peel away at the fine phrase, fine line phrase with my key. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'll probably speed the video up because it's gonna take a while. I don't want it to just drag the video out, but we'll speed the video up as I go along with this and I'll show you the finished product because this is still the right leg. So, anyways, if you're at home doing this um, on any pair of jeans, you could pretty much just get any key that you have that has like very sharp edges. It'll pull. Um, I don't recommend using a knife or anything because it's not safe. This is sharp, but it's still dull enough that god forbid you slipped or anything you're not gonna puncture or cut your skin at all um i have cut myself with this still but it's not like you're gonna seriously get hurt and it does the trick like this is upside down i'll show you guys later what they look like but if 
you can see like those really fine nice little details in the leg this one I did by hand I pulled it a little bit and then this is the back part and then um, when I see Amber in person I'll have her try them on just to make sure that everything looks perfect and kind of like flows with her body the right way and the shape of her legs um, because you don't want to have it looking like the cuts are still not proportion right I don't know if that makes sense but when you see it on then you understand but I'll keep going with this and show you guys the finished product when everything's done When you start hearing that noise, that's when you know that you're getting the good stuff to come out, the nice details. That's when the good stuff's coming out. And this is something that doesn't, like you shouldn't wanna make this happen fast. You wanna take your time with it, kind of like pick away at the pieces very slowly, make sure that, um, you're paying very keen attention to detail because ultimately this is your pair of jeans that you're going to be wearing. You don't want to ruin them or anything. Um, I might go a little bit faster because this isn't the first pair of jeans I've done or distressed or anything like that. I used to do this um, on the side for certain clients. I would um, do one of one pairs on custom order um, a couple years back and then kind of slowed down because I didn't have the time but for my lady you know I'll do it but um yeah if anybody out there wants to do a pair of jeans or take a whack at it I suggest you try with a cheaper pair of denim before you hop into something that's vintage that's one one that you might have spent money on or even if you didn't spend money on it you don't want to just like hop in maybe get a pair a, a piece of denim just like a little cut out um try distressing that see how you like it and if not then now you can come to somebody like me that knows or somebody else that knows or you end up buying a pair of jeans that are pre-distressed and pay the money. I have both like old Saint Laurent pairs of jeans, other jeans that I've bought pre-distressed already and then there was other times where I wanted to do something like authentic and that it, you know, was more personal. I didn't have to buy pre-owned rips and I could just, or pre-made rips, I could kind of do it myself. And yeah, I taught myself how to do it. So this is how leg one is looking. And this is supposed to be like a boyfriend fit. It's not supposed to be something that's skinny. She just wants it to look like a vintage pair. Um, relaxed fit. Just give it a little bit more character. She's wearing her sneakers and stuff. I'm gonna start on the second leg now. Okay guys, so I think that they're pretty much finished. This is the finished product. So heavily distressed because that's what Amber wanted. She wanted it to be like a very heavily distressed bottom. So I think it kind of cohesively matches up with the other distressings that I did on the jeans on the back. This one's a little bit more subtle on this leg. This kind of flares out like that. And this one's a little bit more wild on this side have be distressing throughout this one so yeah so not a little thing you could do while you're in quarantine at home DIYs and just do it the right way it'll come out looking crazy high detail like this over time hey guys happy Sunday um, coming to you live from a different house oh this hair um so i just wanted to come on and chat with you guys and show you what how the jeans came out and how they look on me um and how i've paired them up uh they're not exactly where we want them to be yet so this is just phase one we're gonna see what phase two looks like probably in the next video um so yeah right now i have a vintage 
original Gucci fake. So this is from, I think, the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure Ariel will correct me because, you know, he's the one who's the encyclopedia for all this stuff. But yeah, so it's an original fake from the 70s or the 80s. Um, and I have the jeans on. This is how the top looks on me. It's like really big on the waist, but we're gonna take it to the tailor and have them take it in. But I kind of do not mind like the bagginess of it. All right, so I don't have the best mirror. If you guys, I've been looking for a mirror to put like on the wall to have some good outfit of the days. So if you know a good one, let me know. But so this is how the bottom came out. Doesn't it look good? All right, guys. Be nice to me because, you know, this is not my forte. This is, you know, I'm the editor. Ariel's the brains behind the, you know, content. So, yeah, so I just have my Prada monolith boot on. I don't have any of the, you know, attachments or anything like that. But I think they just look sick. So, I just wore this outfit to the supermarket and everyone was staring at me. But that's fine. I mean, it's. You know, not your everyday outfit for the supermarket, nor the boots, but the bottom. Like, doesn't it just look so freaking sick? Like, it's great. And I'm digging it. So we're, I don't know how to explain what we're going to do, but he says something about, like, us tapering. He sent me some reference photos, but I think they look dope as they are right now. Like, the back, like, come on, with the boot. I wanted to show you guys the jeans look on with um you know my new favorite boots at the moment but yeah let's get back to ariel gotta do the drip check real quick got on my rick boots some alexander wang sweatpants and a save khaki sweatshirt even in the quarantine you guys gotta stay fresh stay fly all right guys so that wraps up the video um stay safe out there new vlogs on the way Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram and follow me on Instagram at ariel.rosado29. New content dropping next week, so stay tuned, stay safe. Later, guys.